boom, we're live. It is the Martin Fowler Scrum. It is Pat and Matt and Sam. Um, if only my name rhymed with Pat and Matt, that would be clearly a threefold victory. But uh, you know, we'll work on that. I could, I'll change my name to Sat for the next one. Um, so uh, I guess I'll start with myself. Um, yes, yesterday, Michael and I, website one, uh, yes, we fixed um, a payment error bug. We added a feature to Agile Bot. Uh, that's now failing on staging. Um, God, we've got to get set up with better um, error reporting, I think, for the Agile Bot. Um, other things going on this morning. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 the big thing I'm excited about is this um, async voting bot. I've just um, pushed up some code uh, onto GitHub, and I've got a little uh, async bot operating uh, in the website one channel at the moment that I think is, um, I mean, it's, it's sort of, it's a ter terrible little spike, but it's actually, it's already starting to um, say, make it easier for me to run async votes. And I think that's what we want to get to is just have the votes um, going, um, you know, thick and fast and, uh, you know, without too much logistic or overhead for the human beings involved. Um, yeah, and people are listening to this Ruby Rogues episode that I haven't had the courage to listen to yet that I was on and saying good things about it, which is, very pleasing, and uh, new people trying to trying to contact me and want to get involved in Agile Ventures. So that's all. That's all good. Uh, I guess. The, yeah, yes. Um, yeah. So my plans for today. Uh, I just got to try and catch up with the admin. I think hopefully some more coding on website one in the afternoon. Um, let's go into Matt. How are things with you? Yes, very good. Um, let's see. I'm still working on authentication for Redeemify. Uh huh. Um, it's a lot of code. I I wish I had broken it up. I don't. Mm. Is it worth breaking up the code I have into separate PRs possibly. or possibly? Yeah. Um. Maybe, maybe we can. Well, maybe we can have a look at it together and and uh, and see. Okay. Um. Yeah. I I think it's it's often it's often work worth breaking. I mean, it's but well, when device gives you a big load of functionality. Yeah. Let let's let's definitely have a look at it yeah. and. Um, See what we can do. Yeah, anything else blocking you or um, giving you uh, feelings of success? No, um, I did have a discussion the other day with Pat, and he was thinking that I'm like serving two uh, clients, and that I should mm. maybe try to get Armando's stuff working, and instead of like being uh, schizophrenic and sure. But um, I don't know. I'm still waiting on the cucumber errors that. Uh, Francis is working on, so it, it kind of makes sense for me to do something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe, maybe next week I can think about putting aside the API stuff for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I've sent off the message to Armando with the, about the new interface and all this, that, and the other, and, and haven't heard back. I mean, I think he's traveling in Europe at the moment, so okay. it's uh, so yes, it's tricky. It does, it does. It's not working right now in staging. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's that's the only other thing I'm really. Waiting on is Francis. Okay. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll talk more at the end of the scrum uh, and have a little bit of a review. Pat, Pat, how are things going with you? Good, Sam. Thanks. Um, in terms of what I've been up to, so yesterday after the scrum, I had a pair programming session with Lara mm -hmm. and Arun. They each have two separate stories from Met Plus. Um, so we hopefully address at least a starting point for Lara and her story. Mm. And and Arun as well, who's wondering how to get started. Um, it delivered a PR for a story, which is match a specific resume to a specific job, which is mm -hmm. what a job seeker mm -hmm. can do when they're looking at a job, say, how how closely do I match this? Um, I've looked at, following my uh, peer program with Laura, I looked at Jasmine tests. And yeah. I tried to create a scaffolding for her test, and she's trying to test a little snippet that we've got that converts UTC mm. time coming out of the Rails database. Mm -hmm. to the local time of the user. So it shows up as local time on the screen. And I kind of gave her a pseudocode outline of how to approach it. But then I tried right. to set it up myself, and it wasn't trivial. Um, I struggled with pulling in external uh, assets. Mm -hmm. um, Jasmine actually has a jasmine.yaml file I found mm -hmm. where you can specify that. You probably know right. this. You know. Yes. So anyway, I tried to test, created some test scaffolding with her. And I let her know that we should get together later today when she's back so I can hand it over to her. Right. I think she's in a good position to start on that. Mm -hmm. um, I've been listening to the Ruby Rogues podcast that uh, you know uh, involved uh, interviewing you, and uh, it's good so far. I'm 20 minutes into it. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The, the, that bit where, where we all start having a fist fight towards the end. Um, yeah. Just just ignore that bit. That's uh, okay. 
I got to the point where you're comparing how many Slack channels each of you have, and uh, right, that, you right. Thirteen members. <laughs> Again, I don't know who won that one. Yes. Um, but anyway, I think a lot of good information is getting out there, and I know Ruby Rogues. I think has a pretty good following, so maybe that'll help with uh, marketing and uh, awareness. So yes, it's good. I think, and I think your description of what Agile Ventures is all about is great and really uh -huh. accessible to people who don't know anything about AV. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's all good. Um, today, I'll be reviewing PRs, and right. I will also take a look at my PR that I submitted last night. Um, I may have some Hound CI things, you know, um, to fix, things like that. Right. I'll probably take another story as well, and uh, I may spend a little bit more time on the Redeemify project, maybe pull it down and take another look at it um, if I have time. Mm -hmm. And that's it for me. No blockers. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Yes. Well, a few people in the Hangout today, greetings to our viewer, one viewer, um, come and join us at adventures.org to get a free invite to our uh, Slack environment and uh, find out more about what we do. Um, yes, great, good updates. Yeah, I just, in the background there, I've just got a notification from Slack that they've just disabled my Slack token for my bot. I had just, like, in the process, I had just, like, removed the, and, and set up an environment variable so that I would not post the token to GitHub, and then I just didn't save the file. And so I pushed it up with the token, and they've now kind of Remove the token and arg. So mm. I think that's going to be kind of broken, and I may have to restart that vote. But, um, <laughs> there we go. Um, but so I just may just do that. Um, perhaps uh, Matt, you and I, if you hang out in this this um, this scrum, we can sort of coordinate on on Redeemify. Does that sound like a good plan? Sure. I have to take my kids to school at seven, so. Okay. No. How how long have you got now, or should you just immediately immediately go? We got about ten minutes. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, let me just in the background beat on some things. Do you want to? Um, I'll put you on the screen share. Do you want to talk me through like the current state of where things are and the decisions that you're working on? Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, do you want to look at the actual code? Well, I guess let's. I mean, the, we've got the so the Travis. Oh, I'll talk the, you through it a little bit. I mean, the, the the thing that we have is the Travis issue was stopping us like having green builds. I think you were saying that's now fixed. The Travis issue is resolved. The Travis issue is fixed. Right. Now uh, it's stopping the builds is uh, cucumber errors due to the CSS rewrite. We we didn't notice that it broke a bunch of cucumber. Uh, I I see. Okay. So that, that's 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 the so I guess the, the two things that are on your mind are one is this the fact that the, the the cucumber is breaking there the other one is like uh has the what's it called the, the authentication can it be split up so sure yeah should we start with the cucumber errors you want to show me talk, talk I can me show you but um, Francis is working on it so I don't really know. Um, I know, I know part of the problem is that he took off some underline some links on the uh, main page right. They're just icons, so the cucumber jobs are looking for the links. Right. So I suggested that he either you know somehow do without the links or add those links back. Right. Okay. Also, well, if if he's if he's kind of like working on it, and we can just leave him to work on it, right? It sounds like it's not so much a blocker as in needs my immediate input, but more like you know sensibly we'll um uh what's the word? Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll wait, and, and 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 if he's unable to resolve it, then we'll give him more support. So it sounds then like the thing, the key, the more the key thing for you is the can the authentication components be broken up somehow to make smaller pull requests. So maybe you want to just talk me through your thoughts there. Yeah, well, the thought is, I'm actually following a book, so a lot of the code isn't even mine, and I, I started, mm. I started off like trying to do it myself and referring to the book and uh -huh. now ending up cutting and pasting mostly from the book. Okay. Okay. So and which book is this that you're working from? It's called um, APIs on APIs on Rails. Okay. I think I showed it to you. Yeah. One. Right. 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 Uh, and the, the problem might be that I'm integrating it in a different order than the book goes, and I, I should have, uh, I should have just gone in order of the book. Uh -huh. the user model first, then the mm -hmm. session, and then the codes. Yes, and so, so you've been copying 
code out of this book, are you saying? Yeah, mostly. Yeah. In yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess the the thing that I would say there is um, that kind of like in terms of setting up device, I would be very, very, very cautious about copying anything out of a book um, because what I would want to be doing, I guess, if I, if I was um, working from devices, I'd be working from the kind of live device documentation. Um, the, on the device website for the particular version of the gem. To it when I, you know, when the code doesn't exactly fit, I. Yeah. The errors. Yeah. I'm referring to it, but. Uh, sure. Yeah. I mean, I should, should maybe start over again, even and. May, maybe. Now that I have the idea in my mind. Maybe I mean, as as uh, Fred Brooks says, you know, you build one to throw away because you will anyway. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I I think what we and what we might want to do is have we got a. High level, high level feature specification, as, like, I mean, authentication is a broad term, right? So the right. question might be, you know, for this, and I'm just going to go and get the... On, on yeah, the I think we probably should have it. I've, I've got a diagram from a project I did mm. at a previous job, and I, I, you know, I made a line for every call. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I mean, I guess we've got this issue of that, like, there... So you've got like a work in progress on API authentication, and that's that that's fine. I mean, I I guess the the way that I would be, I guess, and you've got you've got like uh, feature stories in here. I, I'm just I'm showing my screen. Um, so yeah, you're you're working from a high level story, like um, user user login there. Um, I mean, I guess you're just you're embellishing. We hadn't. Uh, I mean. Well, that one, I, that one's working, and I like that. I wrote that one myself. So. Yeah, the. That's I mean, I, 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 what I'm seeing here is there's various pieces in there. Like, I think you know, we merged in the previous API component that has just the R specs, and I would have almost say that the way I would have tackled it is like I was saying, like, what do we think about doing Qq ones? And you were sort of tackling the Qq ones. And I guess what you're doing here though is you're kind of you're adding. Cukes for the API feature, and then also addressing, uh, um, you know, the document, the authentication as well. And I kind of wonder if, yeah, you know, the, the way I would be tempted to do is to slice it up. So, like, let's get a pull request that's just adding the cucumber feature for the existing API get, which might almost seem trivial, but like, if we can get that merged in as a tiny thing, I, I think that's just sort of much more manageable all round. And then, you know, we can add like a very simple element of authentication on top of that and and so on and so forth does that make any sense yeah i think that makes sense yeah treat what i've done so far as a learning uh, learning I, 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 absolutely absolutely because I, I think it's um yeah yeah totally so maybe um yeah if we if we circle around and then i can potentially if you do just the cucumber for the the thing and then i can review the cucumber thing and give you feedback on how the cucumber is structured for just testing the um the api and then we can look at identifying the the story and i think what well, one of the things here is it's kind of um what we may want to do is start using the async voting bots in the redeemify channel because there's a part of the the, the motivation for having that voting is just increasing people's awareness that people are working on particular stories. So, by and it's not that you can't start work on a spike or anything if you haven't got the votes in. But you know what I mean. Like if we announce in the Redeemify channel, okay, so vote on this thing. Like uh, it sort of I think helps everybody have in their mind a sense of what each other member of the team is doing, and that that awareness can be really valuable for distributed teams. Okay, great. So so yeah, maybe let's. Let's. Yeah, uh, I already think in my mind. I'm already dividing it up into steps. Yeah. You know, adding the device user model. Right. The device name or the user model. And the, it's the first step, and the ability right. to to create a new user through the API. Yeah. Yeah. When you when it, and then the next step is to get. Well. Actually, you wanted to start with the get on the uh, on the codes. Well, well, let's you know. Uh, let, let, let's start, like I'm almost right. let's start on it as it were. Let's let's start on if we're if we're adding a cucumber test of the API thing. Let's do that one first, and all those different things that you're thinking of the different steps. Let's turn those into individual tickets, and then get actual voting and try and pull Francis yeah. and, and Michael Jerger, and let's get the. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, it's it's it, it, obviously you're 
you know, skilled and you can kind of, you, you, you've got your understanding of how it all works. If we can break those up into smaller slices and get everybody, you know, Ruin and whoever, and possibly Pat, by doing that kind of voting in the channel that's sort of visible, we can kind of uh, maybe uh, bra brainstorm different approaches and say, oh, well, this is needed or this will be a problem. And we kind of, we, we leverage the, uh, the group mind, so to speak. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, and I, I'll, I'll see if I can't get you set up with a with a, maybe a separate um, bot instance that will run a, an asynchronous vote. And uh, you just, if you just want to push to me, uh, but anyway, I'll, I'll send you some resources. I know you've got to get off and get your kids to school. Why don't you do that? And we'll, we'll circle back around and we'll make sure that we get some uh, voting going on amongst the Redeemify team in order okay, to move forward. Take today to identify the steps and maybe make a diagram. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Great stuff. Excellent. Yeah, Good to talk with you. Best of luck with the school run. I've done my school run now. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's almost time for lunch here. But uh, yeah, well, good to see you both, Pat and Matt. And uh, bye for now.